On the menu for today's meal prep are these buffalo chicken rice bowls. They're made up of broiled chicken thighs, zucchini, mushrooms, rice, buffalo sauce, and cheddar cheese. Here's how you make them. Begin by preparing your rice. The first step I take in any meal that requires me to cook rice is to start the rice early before I do anything else. It only takes about 20 minutes to cook rice in a rice cooker, but after I hit the start button, I can forget about it until I'm ready to use it. It doesn't require any babysitting. The rice cooker is the way to go. If you're gonna be doing meal prepping, you should buy a rice cooker. The one I use is called a Zojirushi. I'll link it in the description below. Next, we need to prepare and season our chicken thighs. I should note that for this video, I am making 10 meals, so I'm using four pounds or 1.8 kilos of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Drizzle over one tablespoon or 15 grams of oil, four teaspoons or 12 grams of salt, two teaspoons or six grams of pepper, and then lastly, two tablespoons or 16 grams of chili powder. Now it's time to get your hands dirty, reach in there and toss the chicken around to make sure that we have an even coating of the oil and all of the seasonings. If you marinated this chicken in the fridge for 30 minutes to two hours, it would allow for some of those flavors to penetrate more deeply into the chicken. I personally don't do this just because I don't like to take the time investment to wait, but if you did it, it would probably lead to more flavorful chicken in the end. Next, you're gonna lay out all that chicken onto a large sheet pan. While my oven is preheating, I like to keep the sheet pan in the oven. That way, when I put the chicken on it, the sheet pan is hot. It probably doesn't make a huge difference, but I do notice a little bit better browning when I do it this way. You're gonna bake this chicken in the oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes, then turn the oven to broil and return it to the oven on the top shelf, allowing it to develop some deep browning. While that chicken is cooking, you can begin to start your vegetables. We're going to use one medium sweet onion or about 200 grams, one pound or 454 grams of mushrooms, and then finally, four medium zucchinis or about 800 grams. Many of you know that I hate vegetables, that's no secret. And one of the reasons that I like these rice bowl style meals is because it's super easy to hide vegetables inside of them. When you mix everything together as one and keep things that have similar size and texture, it kind of all blends together and you can't tell the difference between what's rice and what's a vegetable, so it makes it easier to eat. In this video, I'm cutting the zucchini into a large dice, but if I wanted to disguise it even better, I would cut it into a small dice to match the size of my onion and my mushrooms. That way it cooks down together, it all has similar textures, and when you mix it with the rice and the chicken, you can't really distinguish what is what. To cook the vegetables, you're gonna throw them all into a large pot with some oil and saute them until they are softened and cooked down. You're gonna start with the onions because they're gonna take the longest to cook, develop some color on those, throw in the zucchini, zucchini, and then the mushrooms. Unfortunately, when I made this meal, I forgot to press record when I cooked the vegetables or I accidentally deleted the footage sometime after the fact. Not really sure which one, but I don't have that footage for you. It's just a little sauteing. I do it all in a large pot, add oil as you go, season with salt and pepper, and you should be just fine. At some point during this process, your chicken is gonna be done, so you can pull that out of the oven when you've got good browning on the tops like you see here. Brown equals flavor, so you wanna make sure that you have some good color on that chicken. If it needs more time under the broiler, let it go. Allow it to rest for a few minutes after it comes out of the oven and before you cut into it. This will help it retain some of its juices, but once it's ready, you can cut it into a large dice. Because I was making 10 meals here and I had so much chicken, I used the oven and the bake and broil method. But if I was only making five meals for one person, I would use the air fryer. In my experience, it's so much easier to achieve optimal browning in the air fryer compared to the regular oven. So if you're only cooking for one and making five meals and you have an air fryer, I would suggest giving it a try. Cook them in the air fryer at 400 degrees Fahrenheit on the air fry setting for about five to eight minutes. Then you can turn them over, cook for an additional five, and they'll probably be about perfect at that time. Once all that chicken is chopped, it's time to throw everything together. You'll see here the lone shot I have of our cooked vegetables. To the pot with the vegetables, add six cups of cooked rice or about 900 grams. Chop it up so we don't have any clumps, and then add in one cup or about 112 grams of cheddar cheese. Dump in all of the chopped chicken, and then lastly, we're gonna add in a half a cup or about 120 grams of buffalo sauce. The brand of buffalo sauce I use is Frank's. According to the nutritional label, it has zero calories for the serving size that they recommend, which is less than the eight tablespoons that we put in. If I'm not mistaken, I think they're allowed to round to the nearest five calories, which means that if a serving size has less than five calories, they can round it down to zero. When I put the ingredients into my fitness pal to spit back nutritional and calorie estimates, and I tell it to use eight one tablespoon servings at zero calories, it multiplies eight by zero. So in the grand scheme of things, is 40 calories spread across 10 meals really gonna make that much of a difference? No, but I mentioned this just so that you're aware, and if you use a different brand of buffalo sauce that doesn't have zero calories, it might add a little bit more. If you can find the Frank's Buffalo sauce, it'll make your life easier, but if you can't, just read your labels and try to find something close. Each one of these meals has about 448 calories and 37 grams of protein. 
These can be stored in the fridge for up to five days and reheated in the microwave. If you wanted to keep them in the freezer, I would recommend using as airtight of a container as you can possibly find. The full written recipe for these buffalo chicken rice bowls can be found in the description below or on my website, mealprepmanual.com.